you're watching Good Morning India, the big story we're tracking, a viral video that shows an Aam Aadmi Party MLA being thrashed by what appear to be his own party workers has uh, now been circulating and in fact the BJP has alleged that this is because uh, the MLA was trying to sell tickets to the forthcoming MCD polls, an allegation that's been hotly contested by the man you see being beaten up over there, our MLA Gulab Singh Yadav. Arvind K. G. Rao's party is yet to comment on that issue, but we do know that Gulab Singh Yadav has come out and said that he claims those goons were from the BJP and not from the Aam Aadmi Party. Saurabh Shukla joining us at this point with the latest on that story. Saurabh, you know, as, as, as always, truth seems to be the casualty when the AAP and the BJP slug it out in the national capital. What's the police saying? Uh, absolutely stated by you. Uh, this is a video war. Cops are saying they are investigating this whole matter. They have detained uh, uh, four people. That's what, that was police version late last night. Uh, they have detained four of them and uh, uh, our, our MLA has filed a complaint under section of attempt to murder. He is saying that uh, BJP planted these goons into his meeting uh, which we, he was holding with uh, his workers. And uh, there were people with uh, cameras also recorded this whole incident and uh, they are making viral and uh, saying that uh, our Aadmi workers they, they manhandled and they, they are beating AAP MLA for allegedly selling tickets. So that is BJP's conspiracy. That is the version of uh, Amandi Party MLA, Gulab Singh Yadav. On the other hand, Ankita, BJP is saying that uh, Amandi Party MLA, Gulab, not just Gulab Singh Yadav, there are others also who, have been, who sold tickets for money. And that is why these workers are angry and they are manhandling, they are... Uh, uh, they are beating AAP MLAs. In fact, a uh, few days back, Amati, uh, BJP held a press conference where they have shown that Aam Aadmi Party leader is allegedly asking for uh, money uh, to, to give tickets. So this, this is a video war and police will come with a version soon today, but uh, Aam Aadmi Party will also hold a press conference. But this is MCD election, civic party polls, more videos will come every, every day is some new video from Amati Party, from BJP and this war is going to get more aggressive. BJP is uh, claiming that Amati Party is losing and they have sold the tickets. On the other hand, Amati Party is saying that BJP is frustrated, they are losing, that is why they are playing these low-level games. Ankita. Saurabh, thanks so much uh, for joining us uh, with those latest details. Let's quickly take you through the political tweets we've already been seeing on the story. The BJP's uh, uh, Sambit Patra saying unprecedented scenes from the party that indulged in the theatrical drama of honest politics such as Aap's corruption. Even its own M members are not sparing MLAs. A similar outcome awaits them in the forthcoming MCD polls to which the MLA Gulab Singh Yadav uh, responds by saying the BJP has gone berserk. It's making baseless allegations. I'm at the Chawla police station now. I've seen the BJP's corporator and a candidate from the ward present at the police station to save these people. He means the attackers. What bigger proof can there be? The media is also present, must ask the BJP. So, Ankita, it's Aam Aadmi Party versus BJP in that run-up to the MCD polls to take place in the national capital. Of course, uh, both uh, blaming each other for those goons present at right. that event. An accused of the Purawala's police custody yesterday, he will be produced before court. Most likely, he will be produced via video conferencing. Do remember, five days ago, uh, you know, he was produced in the Saket court in the national capital. Again, via video conferencing because there was threat to his security. Because we saw so many lawyers, hundreds of them, uh, get outside. The police clearly fear that something similar could happen today. More gruesome details have emerged since that day and public emotions are clearly running high. Well, the police will uh, possibly seek an extension of Aftab Punawala's custody. Remember, they still really need kind of hard evidence in the case. They were given Aftab's custody for five days on the 17th of November as well as permission to conduct a lie detector test that uh, hasn't actually happened yet so we're likely to see the delhi police uh, asking for a further extension meanwhile teams of the delhi police continuing their search across gurugram mehroli and chatarpur areas of the national capital to recover the remains of the murder victim interestingly ankita that narco test hasn't happened even though aftab has given permission for it 
A three-judge bench led by the Chief Justice of India will hear a plea by the Congress's Jaya Thakur today challenging the notification amending the electoral bond scheme. The amendment allows the sale of election bonds for 15 more days in the year of assembly elections. The petitioners question why 15 extra days are being given for sale and purchase of election bonds. To get more on this, we have Arvinder joining us. Arvinder claims being made that the BJP will be the major beneficiary in this. Yeah, uh, the we are, petition has been filed by the Congress uh, leader, Jaya Thakur, in Supreme Court, challenging the recent amendment to the electoral bond scheme, wherein the central government last month has um, had amended the electoral bond scheme, electoral bond scheme wherein the uh, bonds can be purchased for 15 more days in the era of assembly elections because assembly elections are held every year uh, in the country. So that means effectively that electoral bonds can be purchased for 15 more days every year. And that's why it has been challenged before the Supreme Court wherein the petitioner has said that uh, Prima Fesi shows that almost 75% of the electoral bonds have gone to the ruling party, that is the Bharti Janata Party. And that's why this uh, uh, amendment to the electoral bond scheme wherein 15 more days of purchase of electoral bonds will also benefit only the ruling party and that's why it has been challenged in Supreme Court. So the petition will be heard by the uh, three judge bench led by Chief Justice of India, Justice Chandrasud, whereas, whereas the main petition that is challenging the overall electoral bond scheme is already pen pending before the another bench. So in all likelihood, this particular bench will issue notice and tag this matter with the pending matter. Right. Uh, thank you, Arvind, uh, for getting us all those details. In other news, a video has gone viral of a young woman delivering a baby right in the middle of a road in Tirupati on Sunday with just a bed sheet for cover held by strangers with a man who apparently worked in a primary health centre helping the baby come out. What's shocking, Ankita, is this happened right in front of a 100-bed Tirupati maternity hospital. That's where the woman had reportedly gone. But she wasn't given admission and that was on grounds of the fact that she had no attendant accompanying her at the time when she reached uh, that maternity ward. The woman was from Vilaspur and poor thing had no one with her at the time. The woman's labour pain started in the middle of the road. The video shows the few women holding a bedsheet and a man helping with the delivery. Subsequently, after the government got a great deal of criticism for the event, the Tirupati district health in charge ordered a probe. The woman and the baby were then taken to the hospital, and uh, which has now given an assurance saying it will not turn away any patient even if they are not accompanied by attendants. But we begin with breaking news amid the growing controversy over viral videos of Aap Minister Satyendra Jain getting massages in Delhi's Tehar Jail. Now a new twist. Officials of uh, Tehar Jail, uh, uh, sources in Tehar Jail being quoted as saying that the person who was providing massages to Satyendra Jain was not a trained physiotherapist at all, but a prisoner, Rinku, uh, the son of somebody called Tarachan. He's in fact a prisoner in a rape case and charged under Section 6 of uh, the POXO Act as well as Sections 376, 506 and 509 of the Indian Penal Code. The man being seen here in these viral videos is not a physiotherapist at all. Remember, this is what the Aam Admi Party had claimed, criticizing the BJP for doing politics over the minister's ailments and the so-called medical therapy that he was trying, that he was getting, in fact, in jail. Uh, Shahzad Poonawala of uh, the BJP tweeting, saying a rape accused Rinku was giving massages to Satyendra Jain and uh, talking about the sections that he's been charged under. It was not a physiotherapist, but a rapist giving malish to Satyendra Jain. Shocking. Kejriwal must answer why he defended this and insulted physiotherapists. Now, these viral videos uh, dated uh, September 13th and 21st uh, going viral just a few days ago. The BJP, of course, has made much of this in the run-up to Delhi's hotly contested civic body elections, which take place in the first week of December. The Aam Aadmi Party has been on the defensive, trying to say that uh, the BJP is doing needless politics and that Satyendra Jain had in fact been prescribed medical therapy. And that's what you see in these videos. With these latest allegations, uh, that defense 
is going to come under increasing pressure. Ahead of Parliament's winter session, the Finance Ministry is proposing a new law to bring in much-needed reform to the insurance sector. Major changes are being proposed with an amendment act. Sunil Prabhu joining us at this point. Sunil, what are we hearing? Sunil, what more do we know about this new law that's being proposed? Well, uh, uh, Ankita, this is a major uh, uh, reform that uh, has been waiting for a very long time. And this is uh, basically something that is uh, uh, planned uh, by the uh, finance ministry. It's been uh, consulting uh, the insurance uh, regulatory uh, authority at this stage. And it's in this context uh, that the government uh, uh, is moving uh, to uh, ensure uh, that the threshold limit for insurance companies, which is at present 100 crores, can be reduced uh, to see uh, that, you know, just like in... Uh, the banking sector where you've got microfinancial institutions and NBFCs, they can come in. Uh, they are now redefining and subclassification, uh, bringing subclassification in the insurance sector, uh, which basically means uh, that those, uh, uh, you know, for example, life uh, as well as uh, general insurance uh, have only been defined in the act. Now that's going to be reclassified. Uh, they're also going to bring in a provision for value-added services uh, to ensure that people... Uh, you know, like you and me, uh, can get benefits for people like, for example, your parents, they can give an ambulance service, uh, they can give various other value addition, uh, which wasn't there. So a lot of reforms uh, planned in the insurance sector, uh, and uh, the government uh, has uh, started uh, work on bringing that legislation. Uh, the big question, of course, is will it get uh, the required, as we are well aware, uh, the insurance sector in the late 90s uh, went through a lot of political uh, tussle, but this time round, uh, the government uh, wanting to ensure uh, that uh, these major reforms take place uh, at this juncture. All right, Sunil. Thanks very much indeed for breaking that story. In other news, Shraddha Walkar murder accused of the Poonawala's police custody ends today and he will be produced before a court, most likely through video conferencing. The police are likely to seek an extension of Aftab's custody. The Delhi police was given a uh, custody of Aptab for five days on the 17th of November with permission to conduct a narco analysis test on the accused. Several Delhi police teams on Monday continuing their search across Gurugram and parts of Delhi including Maroli and Chhatarpur to recover the remains of the murder victim. On Sunday, the police had recovered a piece of skull and a decapitated jaw from the Chhatarpur forest along with a sharp object from the flat in which Aptab and Shraddha lived.